guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be talking about my top five favorite foundations uh, a little bit background on my skin type and i have combination skin sorry if i'm breathless i am <laughs> currently in my third trimester of pregnancy and this is just life <laughs> so yeah so I have combination skin and basically that means I have both of the best worlds, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I have an oily T-zone, but my oiliness basically is more concentrated around my nose and this area of my face. I do tend to get oily around my mouth, but sometimes it's a bit hit and miss depending on the weather. It's like a weather thing also right now my my skin is like crusty crusty and it's not cute it's not a cute look at all so the rest of my skin usually fluctuates from being normal to dry and it really depends on the weather also and how lazy i am with my skincare routine so yeah so basically i like to use uh with combination skin it's tricky because you want to combat oil so you want to mattify and you still want to have that luminosity because you have the dry skin also so it is literally the hardest thing to deal with when finding foundation but what I like and I know not everyone's the same so what I do is I like to prime my t-zone my oily areas first and then use uh usually a, a luminous or satin finish foundation uh because i like the dewy look i like that dewy glow even though i have that natural <laughs> oily glow throughout the day uh you know you can't win all your battles so you pick and choose so my top five consists of drugstore mainly and like one high end honestly i feel like i always tell girls this and boys um that you can't go wrong with drugstore foundation i feel like drugstore foundation they have some kick-ass like foundations like they can give estee lauder mac and even fenty beauty a run for their money because you can get bomb ass foundation for like under 10 quid and um yeah and i've always loved drugstore foundation drugstore concealers i've always just they're like my holy grail items i usually drugstore i have a few bits you know that are like high end that i do like but on a whole as a makeup collection i do really like my drugstore and you can't go wrong with the price when you're on a budget so i'm gonna start from my five and then go down to my one my number one i would say and it was really hard for me to choose today because i feel like i don't know i i fluctuate also with my foundation because it depends on my mood it depends on what type of coverage how my skin is depends on the weather it depends on a lot of things and i also feel like some days i'm like oh i'll for the you know there's there's times where i'm like i'll use literally one foundation for like six months and then one day i'm like i'll switch up so yeah i'm like that it depends it really depends on a lot of things so my five was really hard to um to pick because i'm trying to think okay what do i dislike the least out of all of it which is hard because i kind of like all of them right so for my five number five for my foundation is uh l'oreal true match and this is an og and it's really hard to call it just you know it's really hard to say five it's my least favorite out of all my favorite foundations this was my first ever foundation i when i was when i was figuring out how to wear makeup this was literally I, I feel like it was the first ever foundation i ever picked up and i kept 
repurchasing it throughout the years obviously when i like emptied and i just loved it it's uh the l'oreal true match and it's in the shade if i can find a shade like this is like an og i feel like it's a seven i'm not sure but i'll put it somewhere here i'll find out the shade and yeah it's it's a great foundation it it's long lasting it's just great and it's hard because all of these foundation a very amazing foundation l'oreal true match foundation i believe it's nine pound 99 in the uk stores um it's just out of if you want to like try makeup and you don't want to splurge then definitely this is one of the yeah one of my recommendations my number four for my makeup rating is bourgeois healthy mix foundation another drugstore favorite and i use this i use this i use this for the longest time for years i believe like for three years this was the only foundation i used because i really loved it i really loved the finish it was natural it was just luminous it was dewy and it did the job it covered what i needed it wasn't So when I was a new mom and I needed something that would do the job and would cover the blemishes but it wasn't like too full coverage, it still looked like skin. And this is what I love about this foundation, it still looks like skin. And I love the foundations, the majority of them, um, is that the finish I like. I like the fact that it looked natural on the skin it didn't look too cakey it didn't look too full coverage and just looked like i had a bit of like a tinted moisturizer but with a little extra coverage so this was in the shade um hail bronze it's a number 57 i'll find out the exact shade and i'll put it somewhere here my third one it's a full coverage one and i feel like it's the only full coverage one in the mix today and the only reason i picked this is because when i really want a full beat and i really want glam this is the foundation i reach for and i really like the finish because some I, I feel like with some foundations that are like full coverage they tend to just not look nice they tend to look really cakey and don't get me wrong this can look cakey if you don't apply it with the right technique and with the right products um it can you know and if you don't prep your skin especially if you have dry skin this can easily look cakey but i do love it though and it's also a drugstore it's the maybelline superstay foundation and it's in the shade what shade are you in i won't even know what shade you are will i 51 caramel beige and um and another thing i i do find with drugstore foundations is that they are great price wise the only thing i have an issue with is shade range i feel like that's like the number one like issue in our community is shade range uh the lack of you know shade range and i feel like with me um there's not really like i feel like i don't really have the right to complain about shade range because i'm of a lighter skin tone than most girls and i still can manage to find my shade even though i could i honestly sometimes i'm like the darker shade in the whole mix which is disgusting i feel like you know 2019 a multi million dollar company can't like whip out more than 10 shades and not most of them not be like eight shades of like vanilla like honestly it's not that hard it's not it's not that's another thing i feel like with drugstores that's the only issues i have i feel like with higher end even with higher end they still have their weaknesses but i feel like with higher end there is a um, bigger majority of shade range in companies and they range from 20 to 30 to even 40 
and uh yeah so i don't have to buy two so basically i feel like sometimes i have to buy two foundations even if they're like 10 pounds each that's like 20 quid and you know i can get like a high-end uh foundation for 20 plus quid and it's the right shade for me i don't have to buy two of them but still yeah still that's the only issue we have with drugstore foundation shade range so if you're darker than me you will definitely know what i'm talking about and you will feel the pain more than what i feel because darker skin tones than my skin tone definitely have a slim chance of getting any foundation near their shade or undertone for that matter uh so yeah this one full coverage only full coverage i have in the mix there's some that's medium and buildable but this one is definitely full coverage second it would have to be the ex1 invisible <laughs> liquid foundation it's in the shade uh 6.0 i love this foundation um for a few different reasons i like the finish of it i like the price uh the finish is obviously the same as everyone else's um it's not dewy but it's like a satin natural finish it's not cakey or drying uh it is medium coverage i feel like it's buildable also which is great and also the price i don't know i feel like it's a foundation um a, a, I feel like it's a drugstore foundation because the price is £12 and I feel like if it's under, if it's under 6 mm -hmm. what makes a foundation high-end price-wise? I would say if anything's over £16, no, let's, let's say £15, if anything's over £15, that is high-end. Am I right or am I being like stingy? Because I don't know. Um, yeah, so this is £12. Uh, they sell it in boots now, I believe. Before, when I got it a few months ago, like the start of the year. Um, so it's not a few months ago. It's just like nine months ago. Um, when I got it, uh, it was just online. And then you couldn't get it. Like I couldn't um, find out the shade. I had to basically research the shade and I feel like I do that a lot with foundation shades. I'd have to research. I have like certain YouTubers that I subscribe to that have the same exact, um, that's the same shade as me. And I just go on their pages and look if they've bought it or reviewed it or have used it on their channel and I find out what they used. That's how I just, you know, do it. Foundation case, the more you use the the foundation the like it goes up so it shows i'm i'm so i'm easily amused and impressed and this the toy is just gonna keep going so let's just like talk over it because we can't control mom life so yeah we're even getting a song guys we're even getting a song so yeah so this goes up and it shows you how much you're using how much is left and i love that i just love it because i feel like sometimes with foundation and it's a picky thing it's not like a big deal it's not a need but i feel with foundations you, you never know when you're running out because everything's basically stuck on the side it's not until you like pump it one day and you're like oh shit nothing's coming out <laughs> So yeah, that's how you find out and you're basically like, oh no, my foundations run out. What do I do? So I love that little, you know, nifty add-on. I wish all foundations did this. Uh, it's inexpensive, I guess, because this is 12 quid and they can do it. So well, what's everyone's excuse, I guess? It's a great little add-on for foundation, I believe. So my number one foundation at the moment right now that I've been loving and I've just discovered it by accident and I'm loving this combo and it's two foundations. It's two foundations and I know I don't know if that's if that it abides by the rules of your top five because it's two but I feel like if I use one of each like each one by itself it's not as good. But both, and I love doing this with foundation. That's another thing I love about foundation. Is that you can literally add like two foundations, mix it up. And it like creates this magical formula. 
So the two foundations that I have been obsessed with right now and I've just been, you know, using for the last week, <laughs> has been a week, but I'm really loving it. I just love it right now for the winter skin and for my skin right now. And it is the NARS Sheer Glow uh, Foundation and it is in Syracuse and the Ordinary lightweight foundation and it's in 3.0 y um nausea glow great foundation it's high end though i believe it retails for i don't want to miss coat i think it's 26 pounds i could be wrong i'll put the price somewhere here see it could be 34 pounds i could be wrong too i'm not sure but yeah it's it's expensive um nas foundation share glow it has a nice satin finish it's dewy um it's just a beautiful foundation <laughs> child it's just a beautiful foundation on its own i just love when i add this the ordinary foundation and i have been obsessed with this and i love using this on clients that always ask for a natural finish or a natural look and um, because it's so light coverage like if you have great skin and you don't need you don't need the coverage this this is great also a great thing about it, it's five pound ninety nine five pound ninety nine uh, that's mad for how good of a foundation it is uh, I don't find it as buildable I feel like it's it is what it is it's a light coverage foundation it's basically for girls with good skin and yeah <laughs> those girls but together when they are together the coverage of this and the finish of this together with this it is bomb like i'm wearing it right now and i am in love i'm just in love with the finish it just gives it a very uh, i just can't i can't speak i can't explain it it's just amazing this is my number one combo number one foundation right now of this moment like i said i i am constantly changing up what i like but right now i'm just obsessed with this combo so yeah so that's it guys thank you so much for watching this video i'm so sorry for the background noises <laughs> of my daughter but this is what this channel is it is a lot of uh yeah just a lot of background noises <laughs> little cameos and stuff like that but we're all good we're all good in the hood but yeah so i hope you liked this video and if you did don't forget to like uh also don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel welcome and also don't forget to click on the notification bell and it's really important for you to do that because it kind of lets you know when i upload new videos i am so thankful for the new subscribers thank you every video i do i'm like thanking new subscribers new people on my channel it's crazy i mean the views and all that i'm just i'm just so thankful and grateful and i love you guys so much for that and thank you for watching love you bye